Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and I am back with another Bible review. Um, if you caught on my channel here, I had a review for the My Creative Bible. This one was sent to me by Christian Art Publishers to do a review. I will link that in the top right hand corner so you can check this one out. Um, and their sister company, KJV Bibles, uh, went ahead and sent me these two Bibles. These are the new My Promise Bible. These were just released. Um, so they sent me two different ones here and then they also sent me some goodies to play around with inside of one of the Bibles. So they sent me some colored pencils and some gel pens. Um, I don't have any gel pens, so that was perfect. Give me an opportunity to kind of play with those um, and that kind of thing. So I'll show you what those look like in the Bibles. Um, and so they sent me two so that one I could play in and one I could do as a giveaway. So stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll have information about the giveaway and how that's gonna work, um, but let's dive in and take a look. So I went ahead and played in the uh, Softbound uh, Promise Bible, so I'll show you that in just a few minutes, but this uh, pink one here is the one that will be uh, in the giveaway, and this is the Hardbound, and you can see it's a little bit different uh, print on the outside, but the inside of the Bibles are exactly the same between uh, this My Promise Bible and the other one. So. Now, in comparison to the My Creative Bible, these are similar in that they are both Bibles that contain uh, pre-printed images on the inside. So this one has, you know, in the margins and in the front and things like that. Um, but there's some new things in the My Promise Bible that the My Creative Bible didn't have. And so um, the My Creative Bible had about 300 pre-printed images. This one has over 500. So it's almost every other page has a pre-printed margin. So if you are somebody who likes the pre-printed margins, um, this is awesome for you because you get you know, even more of the pre-printed margins. If you don't like that, then, you know, you're gonna have to fight because there's more of those and less open space. But there is still the open two inch margins in here. Uh, you have this beautiful front cover that you can color in. Um, and then this front nameplate page, really beautiful girly um, prints throughout the Bible. On the front, you have this really pretty, floral design and this rose gold um, where it says my promise bible and then more rose gold here and then on the back you have second corinthians 1 20. Um, this bible is a king james version so just so you know that um, and so if you flip through um, there's from what i could see they're all new um, images in this one as opposed to the My Creative Bible. So I didn't really see any duplicates from what I could see, but you have a lot of these full page. Um, this gives you a little information about what the My Promise Bible is. You've got some full page areas to color, um, some information about the particular translation. Um, it is the cream colored pages. I did some testing in the other Bible. Um, these are from the same publisher. So the pages are, as far as quality, are the same as the My Creative Bible. So if you watch that review, um, that just gives you an idea of what the pages are like. Of course, you've got your table of contents and then you jump in. One unique thing to this Bible that I liked better than the My Creative Bible is at the beginning of each book of the Bible, it has some information about that book. Um, and you'll find this in, if you've got a Zondervan study Bible, um, I have one of those, or the She Reads Truth Bible. Some of those study Bibles have this entry page that kind of gives you some information about the book, some key verses and things like that. I really appreciate that if you're using this Bible to read and to study from. And then some more full page images. Um, one thing I like is that these are pretty big images and that they're not teeny tiny little details that are gonna be a pain to try to color in. Um, if you like the teeny tiny detail, that's great, that's your thing, but that is not mine. I get frustrated very quickly if it's too small spaces to color in. So this is the entry to Genesis. You can see really um, pretty little extra bits at the beginning of the books. And then the uh, margin image at the beginning of each book is a verse from within the book. So this is not a verse, this is Genesis 28, 15. This is not a verse that's actually on this page, but the other ones are verses that are on 
that page. Um, and one other thing, you get these full page, sometimes you get these full page entries, which are really nice and uh, some blank areas, and it is a lined uh, page. The lines don't bother me. Once you start coloring over those, you don't really notice them. There are no lines in the pre-printed margins. So they're blank, and then they just have the printed images. So uh, like I said, there's over 500 <laughs> images in here. Um, one thing, I feel like it's a little bit bigger than my Crossway Bible, so it's a little bit easier to read, and then the bold headers, that's really nice, and then just tons and tons of these really pretty um, images that you can color in. It does have two um, ribbon markers in here. Let me find the other one here. So this one comes with green and pink. I don't think I showed you the edge here is that pink floral design. Really, really girly and pretty. This would be a great gift um, as we're getting close to the holidays, especially if you've got a daughter or granddaughter that's wanting to get into Bible journaling but needs a little bit of guidance and structure. This would be great for them. Look how cute that owl is. So really, really fun. And then another really unique thing about the My Promise Bible is in the back here. So you've got a section of Bible promises by themes. And so there's these full page um, themes like acceptance, anxiety, and then Bible verses that go with those themes. And then just really pretty art that you can color in. So you've got several of these, compassion, contentment. And so that's really nice. If you're looking for verses specific to something that you're dealing with or um, a topic that you're looking for, there's some suggested verses there. So you've got several pages of that. Um, you've got back here is an index of all of the pages that have um, pre-printed images. So if you're looking for something specific, you can come back here and here is the list of all the pages that are pre-printed. And then another unique thing is this is like a, not quite a cardstock, but it's a thicker paper back here. And it's full page areas for um, personal reflection. So you got God's promise for me. So you can take some notes back there. Uh, thank you, Lord, for, and then an area to take some notes. And it's blank on the back, so you could take even more notes. Um, and just some blank areas where you could journal prayers or specific sermon notes, things like that back here. So you have several pages um, for that. And then a really neat thing is uh, you have this extra little envelope. This is not something that the My Creative Bible had. You've got this envelope where you could store um, journaling goodies like stickers and maybe a stamp set, things like that. But this Bible also comes with a set of uh, stickers that you could color in and use in your journaling. And then it also comes with a set of indexing tabs that, um, so the books of the Bible that you can apply to the edge of the Bible and it's in a print and colors that match, um, this particular Bible. So if you're somebody that likes Bible tabs and you want ones that match, this comes with them. It also comes with a guide to help you get them lined up and applied correctly. So really nice that it comes with that extra little bit there. And then you could even store, um, I have a video on my channel where I made a little pocket in the back of my Bible to put like prayer requests and things like that and made like a little prayer pocket back here. So you could do that with this. So really, really awesome designs, updated, a lot more things going on inside this particular Bible. So this is the one that I will be giving away. And at the end of the video, I will kind of give you the details on how to get in on that giveaway. But let's take a look at um, the other one here and some of the testing I did. So this one is also available over on the website. I will have links down below. Those are affiliate links. So I do get a commission if you order through um, those links. So just heads up. So this is the uh, soft bound version and it comes in this really nice um, box. So it's nice and protected. And this one is in like butterflies and blues and purples and it is soft bound. You've got um, blues and purples and butterflies on the edge. And then uh, again, 2 Corinthians 1.20 on the back. 
This one has silver detailing um, on the front and the edge. So really, really, really pretty. Um, and like I said, it's the same publisher. So the pages functioned the same in this one as it did in my testing in the My Creative Bible, but I did go ahead and test the same products and some new ones. So this page here is done with the Veritas uh, color pencils that they sent me for review. So that's these ones here. Um, this is a set of 48. Um, it does come with a little pencil sharpener. I had tried these once before. I had done an event at uh, my local Lifeway and they carry these at my Lifeway store. And so they had sent them for the um, event and so I'd gotten to try them out. One neat thing is it does, this 48 set does come with some metallics. Um, it has a really great selection of colors. I really think that these are a good quality pencil. However, they are a harder lead. So if you're looking for a substitute for Prismacolors, these are not it. Prismacolors are very soft, very creamy. Um, and one downside to that is when you're sharpening, they're like crumbling and they're kind of hard to sharpen. These are easy to sharpen, but they are a hard lead. So they're a little bit harder to blend and to work with than Prismacolors. So just just had that but for small intricate little lines like this i actually prefer a harder lead um, and i'm not really doing a whole lot of blending since it's pretty small little areas um, but they were really nice to play with this would be a great option um, if you are frustrated with the crumbling prisma colors and then you can see on the back no bleed through or anything like that. I didn't press too horribly hard. I did have a piece of cardstock behind here so I didn't leave indentations on the other side of the page. But so there are the Veritas colored pencils. And then I also tested out the gel pens. Now in my other um, Bible review, I'd mentioned that I don't have any gel pens. I don't use them in my Bible. And so they sent me a set of the 12 Veritas um, gel pens. And I had played with these at Lifeway as well, just briefly, and a lot of people really love these. I am not a fan of gel pens, that's just a personal <laughs> preference of mine. Um, I did when I was in high school, and we had yearbooks and things like that, but as far as Bible journaling, I don't particularly love to use them. Same with color pencils. I don't really use color pencils in my Bible journaling, but the benefit of that is that these, I just briefly used them in my testing, these are gonna go into the giveaway. So whoever wins the Bible, I'm gonna go ahead and stick these in the package, and you will get these as well. But so it comes with 12, you get a set of six metallics and six glitters. Uh, one unique thing that I like is it is a much finer, let's see if it'll focus, much finer tip. It's not wanting to focus, but it's a much finer tip than your typical uh, gel pen that you might be used to. So it is nice to get into those really fine details on the page. Um, they do have some bigger uh, sets over, I believe they have some bigger sets over on the website. So go check that out if you're wanting more colors. These were a big hit with the Lifeway group. So they are a good gel pen. They're just not my preference. Um, so I'm gonna lift this up so you can see I used a combination of, um, these are the metallics, and then this in here has some of the glitter. Um, they are a very opaque gel pen, so you can see I almost completely covered up like the veins in those leaves you can't see, and so I had to be careful not to color over the black lines as I was coloring in because it would kind of cover up those black lines, but really, really pretty. You've got some glitter sparkle. These take forever to dry. So uh, I let this sit out and it still was not 100% dry when I shut it. And so it did transfer to the other page. So you're going to want to hit these with a heat tool um, before you can close your page. And you can see just how wet they are. They even kind of wrinkled the opposite page from the moisture that was left in these gel pens. So you definitely want to hit them with a heat tool. Um, before you close your page um, and you can see they didn't bleed through but they they're pretty dark so I would have to apply some white acrylic paint or something like that over this page to be able to journal on it just because they're so intense in their color payoff that it does kind of start to come through the back of this page but um, for coloring in these little intricate details they are you know, nice and small and easy to get into some of those littler areas. So there are the gel pens 
Here are the um, Faber-Castell brush markers, the small ones. And then I also um, underlined, with, underlined with my Tombow Feud uh, calligraphy pen. Those are something that I use quite a bit in my journaling. Um, those brush markers did start to want to come through this page, whereas in my Crossway Bible, they do not bleed. Um, and this is just one pass. I didn't like scribble in multiple times. I just went over it once and it is wanting to kind of come through. So um, probably can't use your Faber-Castell brush markers in here. The Tombow Feud pen, I mean, it didn't even hardly shadow in this Bible. So you can use that. So you're kind of limited on, and that's something we discovered with the My Creative Bible Review. You're kind of limited in the products that you can use in here as far as um, the bleed through is concerned. So some of the things I could use in my Crossway Bible, I couldn't use in here. Uh, Inktense pencils. Those are a kind of watercolor pencil, but it's actually an India ink that I activated with water and no bleed through. I try to use dark colors um, it does show a little more than it does in my other Bible, but it didn't come through these pages. Uh, here is gelato that I blended with a baby wipe and just shadowing, but no bleed through whatsoever. So you can use gelatos. Here are the Adornit watercolor pencils. These are a great watercolor pencil and they're a great price and you get tons of them. So if they are still available, I will link them down below for you. Those do not bleed through. So if you're wanting a watercolor pencil, I probably would go with the Adornit over the Inktense pencils. The Inktense have a much better color payoff um, and they're permanent when they're dry, but these don't bleed through at all. So that's probably gonna be a better, safer way to go in this Bible. You know I love my watercolor like ink smushing technique and so this is the Prima watercolors on the left side here. No bleed through, just shadow. Of course it wrinkles, any paper is gonna do that, they're gonna wrinkle. Um, and then this is the Kirataki Gonzai Tombi um, watercolors and no bleed through there either. So those are the watercolors. And that's kind of why I don't use uh, colored pencils. Colored pencils take a long time for me to color in an image. Like something like this, I could very quickly go in with just a couple swipes of color and get it colored in. But a colored pencil, I feel like I have to spend a lot more time coloring in. All right, so then again, you have those Bible promises. All of the images are exactly the same in this Bible as they are in the uh, other My Promise Bible. I did go ahead and test out some inks back here. I've got Versifying, uh, Memento, Ranger Archival, the Illustrative Faith Pigment Ink, um, Craft Smart Pigment Ink. That's this one here, and I believe I got this one from Michaels. I picked it up a couple weeks ago before a class to try out, and I really liked it. It's similar to the Illustrative Faith Ink, um, but a little bit better um, payoff with the intensity of the black. So that was really nice. Um, some Distress Ink, big brush marker, and then this one I did try Distress Oxide inks. So you can see on the back, everything bleeds through except for the Illustrated Faith pigment ink and the Craft Smart pigment ink. Everything else came through the back of the page, so. Um, but the Illustrated Faith and the Craft Smart are not waterproof. So if I was to put water over this, those would bleed, so. It is what it is. You've got your creative reflection pages in the back and then your envelope with, uh, looks like the same stickers as the other Bible, but you've got Bible tabs that match the color of this particular Bible. So just depending on whether you want the soft bound or the hard bound, um, they are pretty much the same same size, um, this is just gonna be your hard cover, this is gonna be the soft cover. I know people are gonna ask what my preference is. Um, before, I probably would have said the hard bound. The soft bound, I had a hard time with my new soft bound um, not wanting to lay flat, but after just a few days of use and kind of wearing it in a little bit, it, it laid flat fine. So I don't really honestly have a preference. Um, I haven't filled a soft bound enough to know if it holds up a little bit better to being chunkier than the hard bound. So um, I think it's just gonna be as far as what you prefer for wear and tear as you're carrying it around and things like that. So those are the two My Promise Bibles. Um, for the giveaway, I'll be giving away the hard bound pink one. And to enter the giveaway, all you need to do is like this video, 
be subscribed to my channel and in the comments down below leave a comment and in that comment leave a video suggestion for something you would like to see on my channel so whether that be um, a specific product you want me to review a specific technique that I haven't showed before or maybe you just want to see more of something that I'm already doing just leave me a video suggestion down there and that'll be your entry into the giveaway the giveaway is going to go um, from today all the way until uh, Thursday, November 16th, 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll have all that information down in the description box down below. And then I will draw a name the following day on that Friday. And then I will reach out to you uh, here on YouTube. So um, be sure to check check that and I'll try to get a hold of you any way that I can and I will update the description for this video with the winner as well so be sure to come back and check that out and see if you won and um, this is open to just US um, only sorry just for the cost of shipping uh, I'm having to pay to ship it so it's US only so sorry and um, we'll have other giveaways in the future so and I'm gonna definitely be sticking in some extra little goodies and um, this was perfect timing it came I just hit 7,000 subscribers here on YouTube so what a perfect way Way to celebrate that with doing a giveaway so whoever wins I'm gonna throw some extra little goodies in there as a thank you so awesome awesomeness let me know what you think down below um, of the Bibles and leave that uh, recommendation for a video down there and until next time thank you so much bye bye